Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Node Anatomy, where we explore most of the options and uses of a certain node. Today's node is Scale Elements, where I think I've probably used this node for last episode, the first one, in Extrude, so, uh, Extrude Mesh, so I think it's a good idea to do this one today. So simply, um, scale elements is used to scale things. Now it's different from uh, the regular scale operation. Is that this thing isn't used to scale the whole thing, but it's used to scale certain small elements. Basically, you can put it into perspective like this. Uh, normally, scaling it is like object mode where you scale the whole thing. But scale elements is you scale uh, the edge or the faces. And with this, you can do things like make a max revive from Pokemon or a chocolate bar. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, let's begin. So today's video shouldn't take that long. So anyways, um, let's go. So first, let's go to geometry nodes and let's close this. And let's add a new node right here. So let's go through this very quickly. So let's add a scale elements node. Let's put it over here. All right. So simply, uh, overall, this node's scale things, let's put it in between right here. And if you increase and adjust this, you can see that it's scaling the whole thing. Now I did say that this node only like, can you be used to scale certain like faces and edges and not the whole thing. And we'll get to that point right now. So let's see here. There's four inputs and one output. So the first input is the geometry. So it's just the standard geometry input. You input all the geometries, whatever you want to input. You can input your object uh, information. You can uh, put in like a plane, plug it in here. OK. The next one is the selection. And this one is basically just the Boolean thing where it says, which part do you want to scale and which part do you not want to scale? So this is the point. Uh, so let's say you want to scale just the top part, then you need a selection, a Boolean selection of only the top part and you can do it. So we'll go through this very quickly after we go through the next one. And the scale one over here is basically just to adjust here. You can also input some, oh, you can also input some information right uh, here. You can add the information to it. And the center. This one is quite interesting. It's basically to adjust the origin. The best way to explain it is, is just to do it. So let's add a combine XYZ right here. Combine XYZ. Let's plug it in here. And if we kind of move this and scale it, you can kind of see it kind of having a different origin. So basically, you are able to adjust your origins here. OK. So yeah, overall, that's it. So now, there's a few options here which you can change. This is just to select which type of thing you want to change the domain. Do you want to uh, scale it as a face, or do you want to scale it as an edge? And the second one is uniform. So basically, right now, when it's scaling, it's scaling in a uniform manner. Now, if you change it to a single axis, you will be able to kind of scale it in a certain axis like this. And you kind of can adjust it here. OK. And lastly, the output is just to output something like this forward to the next part. So let's see, let's make something real quick. OK, let's plug this in here. And let's add a extrude mesh node, which we used last video. So let's delete the, uh, let's not delete, let's just unplug this. And let's use a grid this time. We're going to use a grid as a demonstration. And let's see. Let's not scale anything. Let's set this as uniform. One, one. Um, so we're going to have something like this. Maybe let's increase the vertices for it a little bit. And let's increase the size. 
So right now, what we have is we have the extruding thing right here. And then basically, if we scale it, it's, it's kind of scaling it in a uniform, uh, scaling it in a uniform manner. And if we want to scale the top part, for example, uh, extrude mesh has a output supply of the top face of the extrusion. So we can use that here. So if we try using that, as you can see, you can kind of scale the top part. So yeah, that's it. Okay. So yeah, overall, that's it for the node here. Now I did say you can make like chocolate bars with this. If you want to see how to make chocolate, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I might make that video. Overall, that is it for scale elements. If you want me to make any other notes, feel free to leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.